Well, welcome, Krista. My name is Nora, and I am with Travel Leaders. And I want to introduce Krista Erickson with Trafalgar, who's going to talk to us today about London Sites, Paris Lights, and Amsterdam Nights. Now, if you have any questions during the presentation, go ahead and put them in the Q&A or the chat. I'll moderate those and we'll answer questions at the end. But thanks for joining us. And Krista, take it away. Well, thanks, Nora. You know, I, I appreciate uh, everybody spending time with me this afternoon. And I am really excited to uh, host this presentation in conjunction with the esteemed travel leaders. They're great agents over there. And you know, at Trafalgar, um, we really understand why you wanna travel, right? You wanna connect with people and sort of leave the world behind. And what I chose today to talk about are three of our great city explorers, London's, uh, our London Explorer, our Paris Explorer, and our Amsterdam Explorer. These are some great dynamic ports of call, and you're really going to be able to settle into your handpicked accommodations and really get under the skin of each destination. So I'm going to just get right into it and just kind of, oh, my screen is stuck. There we go. Uh, just kind of uh, introduce myself. Um, Nora br briefly did. Um, I'm Krista Erickson and I'm a, a district sales manager based here in Minneapolis. And I've been really lucky to have made travel my career. And so I've actually traveled to each one of the cities today that I'm going to talk about, London, Paris, and Amsterdam several times. But I thought what I would do is um, just kind of briefly share with you some of uh, my memorable moments in each one of those. Um, cities. So first would actually have to be one of the trips that I took uh, to London was actually viewing for the first time a, a 72 story skyscraper. It's close to the London Bridge and it looks um, just like a shard of glass. So sticking up into the sky. And so they call this this tall building the shard. And it was actually built back in 2009. And the architect didn't take into account the strong effect that the sun was going to have beating down on the glass and how this uh, strong reflection would actually melt things. And this is legit. Um, people were actually <laughs> cooking uh, eggs on the sidewalk. There was a car that started to melt at one time. So needless to say, they had to make some modifications to um, the glass to adjust the glare. And every time I go to Paris, and actually I was fortunate to uh, go to Paris with Trafalgar late last fall, so November, um, I'm reminded what an incredible, beautiful city it is, how the lights shining at night are just so incredible and it's so romantic, whether you are you know, sitting on the banks of the Seine, enjoying a picnic or just floating down the river at night and taking in all those lights. It's, it's such a, a beautiful city and so much to explore. And then of course, Amsterdam, um, that is just such a fun, fun town. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is um, actually take a tour of the Heineken Brewery. I know it sounds a little kitschy, but it's, it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of history there. Um, it was actually started in Amsterdam, uh, the brewery was back in 1864 and it's the third largest beer producer in the world. So there's tons of history there. They do a great job at the brewery showing you around. Um, and actually, I was fortunate to do a, a tour back in 1988 when they were still brewing beer at that location downtown. Uh, since they've moved it to the outskirts of town, but if you want to get some great, uh, you know, have a great time and, and have a tasty treat, that's a wonderful place to go. So who is Trafalgar? Um, we've actually been around 75 years. Um, we're really the experts, I like to say, at creating moments that really are going to become great memories for you. We have product on all seven continents uh, with over 300 itineraries. Clearly, I'm not going to talk about all those itineraries today, or we would never get off the uh, Zoom call here. Um, but we do, we are a global company. So when it says we've got 5 million happy guests across the globe, what I think is unique about Trafalgar is when you take a Trafalgar trip, you're going to be meeting, meeting other people from different parts of the world. So you might have somebody from Australia from your, on your trip or somebody from Canada. So it really makes to the uniqueness of the uniqueness of the, the trip that you're taking. So, you know, there's so many different types of travelers. So, you know, why, why travel with Trafalgar? Why should I, why should I choose Trafalgar? 
And I think that a Trafalgar trip is really going to give you everything that you're looking for. We really package everything up. Um, so it makes you really, you know, it just makes it incredibly easy and just really simple for you to enjoy yourself and have a great time. And we really know too that your enjoyment ties directly to your peace of mind. And Trafalgar has adapted um, its, its trips to our needs in the new COVID world. Um, we've always ensured well-being protocols on all of our trips, but with this fast new uh, changing COVID era, we've really implemented a, a three-step well-being uh, process, a protocol process. So we've got our travel directors and well-being directors that are always going to be on you know, support monitoring distance and hygiene protocols, whether you're checking into a hotel, the different venues, museums, events, restaurants, et cetera, that we visit. We also have a 24-7 incident response team that's going to meet any new requirements that are put forth by state and lo local governments, as well as uh, the World Health Organization. And then, of course, we, we have also impl implemented a new flexible risk-free booking uh, policy. So this means that you can make changes to your trip up to 30 days prior uh, to your trip at no cost. And, you know, rest assured that you know, when it, when it comes time, you can have peace of mind and confidence to explore the world again. And we know now that more than ever, it's a, your peace of mind combined with the quality of your experience that's really going to define your enjoyment. And with Trafalgar, you're going to get the care, you're going to get the attention to detail and the ease that you're looking for um, to experience the, the places that you've always dreamed of. And remember too, that the, the benefit of traveling with us is just not for the traveler. At Trafalgar, we truly believe in making travel matter. And we wanna give back to the community and to the people who live in the de destinations that we visit. So at Trafalgar, um, we promise to give back to the people, the places, the planet and the wildlife on each and every trip. And this is really ac accomplished through TreadRight, which the, the logo is in the right-hand corner there. It's our nonprofit foundation that's run by our parent company. And the, uh, the parent company is called the Travel Corporation. And this is really going to ensure that when you're traveling with Trafalgar, you're making a positive impact whenever possible. So there's actually three words that people will use to describe a Trafalgar vacation, real connections, um, real ease, how it's very easy, and real joy. And, you know, I truly believe traveling today that people want a local connection. You want to get off the beaten path. And our trips really focus on these hands-on experiences, you know, meeting the locals and going beyond the guidebooks. Um, this is going to allow you guys to get immersed in the culture, um, get to know the people, the destination in each city or, or country that, that you visit, and not necessarily as a typical tourist. And we really do this with three distinct core values real connections, real ease, and real joy. And, you know, vacations are always better, like I said, when you connect with the people and places, when you can have a meal with somebody or, you know, sit at the pub, um, just kind of discover those hidden gems and, and feel like you're making a difference to the world around you. And travel is so much more than sightseeing. It's about connecting to that place and the people that you're visiting. And with Trafalgar taking care of the logistics and the planning, um, you don't have to worry about your, how you're going to get around. And that's what makes it so easy. That's why people say a Trafalgar trip is really easy. It just kind of gives you a stress-free vacation. So all you have to do is just arrive ready to have a great time, which of course means that you're going to have joy when you're traveling. You're going to have a great time when you take a Trafalgar trip. And as you look at this uh, landscape of, of uh, London here over the Thames, you can kind of see there's some sun, sun shining on the right hand side and there's a building sticking up and that would be the shard. So you can already see the reflection right there. Um, so when I talk about uh, Trafalgar and I talk about um, you know getting more from your trip, what we created is something called Connect with Locals or Be My Guest. And these are experiences that usually include having a meal or experiencing a local custom with folks. And if you're a history enthusiast, these are great trips. So if you want to, you know, delve deep into Parliament here and Big Ben, um, you can do that because we're going to give you a hands-on experience which each, with each of these different re regions. So one of our trips that explores London really well is our London Explorer. This is an eight-day, seven-night trip. So you actually will be settled in your um, beautiful uh, London hotel 
Um, the Tower Hotel, it's about a four and a half star hotel, right in a great location in London. And then you're gonna do, um, you know, you're gonna be able to visit the different areas outside of London. Um, all these explorers that I'm talking about, they're a super relaxed pace. It's a great balance between things that are included in free time. You know, it's a great option for foodies if you want to try um, all the local flair. It's a great option for history buffs. We're going to take you to Stonehenge, um, Windsor Castle, Oxford, and then on up to Stratford-upon-Avon, um, which is an optional excursion. If you're interested, of course, that's the home of uh, William, Sh William Shakespeare. Part of this London Explorer too is we um, also include a public transport card and which is called the, the London um, Oyster Card. So you can get around the city very, very easily. And um, we've got uh, an inclusion, a, a river cruise down the Thames. Um, and then of course, some great guided tours that I'm uh, gonna talk in about a little bit, Westminster Abbey, Kensington, but let's just kind of dive into a, a really fun place that I honestly never knew about until I took a Trafalgar trip, which was called Borough Market. It's uh, a true urban market. Um, it is where all the locals shop. It's got this great um, artsy and of course tasty vibe because it's a market. I suggest that you go hungry. Um, it's where the locals shop, which I think is pretty neat. And there's, there's also a lot of history here because it dates back to the med medieval times. There's several different kinds of foods to try when you're there. Um, but the travel director suggested that we go to um, this goat milk uh, booth. And so I did, and I tried some goat milk ice cream cone, or some ice cream, I had it in an ice cream cone, a mint chip. It was actually really, really good. So if you're an ice cream fan like I am, I suggest you, you try that out. And then also by going to the borough market, you are supporting the locals from that region. So some of the places that we highlight on this trip are Stonehenge that would, I believe it's on day three. And this of course is probably one of the world's most famous uh, prehistoric monuments. Um, it actually dates back over 5,000 years. And our guests, when you're with Trafalgar, you're gonna kind of get to walk, step, walk in the footsteps of those Neolithic, Neolithical era people. And it's really believed that they have built this monument in stages over many years. And then we're also gonna take you to Westminster Abbey where you have a local specialist. Um, and these are great people. I'm gonna talk about them in a little bit, but they're gonna show us, share some real stories about Westminster Abbey. And of course, uh, toss in some good local les uh, legends. Um, Westminster Abbey, of course, is the home to royal weddings, coronations, funerals. I remember myself getting up to uh, watch the, the wedding way back in the 80s for um, Lady Di and uh, Prince Charles. So kind of fun. We're going to take you to Kensington Palace. I uh, absolutely love Kensington Palace. This is a great place where you get to dive into culture. And this is a former home, of course, of Lady Di. When I was there, they had a wonderful exhibit of all of her dresses, her gowns. It was so cool. But it's here where we're actually, you're going to get to spend some time in the gardens, which are, which are beautiful. And you're going to get to experience, uh, experience a classic uh, English tea or high tea. So it's a, a great uh, way, again, to try out some local fare. And I know I've mentioned um, local specialists. So when you take a Trafalgar trip, you have a travel director and they're with you from the start of the trip to the end of the trip. You'll actually meet them at your welcome reception the first evening when you when you get into town um, at your hotel. But, you know, the, the, the Trafalgar director, uh, travel director, I like to say, you feel like they know everything, but they can't always. So what we do is we bring in local specialists and these are people that are, you know, from the town and the city that they are going to show you around. And, you know, when you're, when you're trying to discover a new place on your own, it, it can kind of be hard to do. Um, you know, sure, you can kind of wander around the streets and take in the sights, but just imagine if you're being introduced and connected with a true passionate local who can show you their city. And that's what these local specialists are. So Trafalgar will bring in historians, horticulturists, artists, chefs. Um, they're just somebody really passionate about their region and they want to um, share with you why they love living in their town and what makes it so special. So with this local specialist, you're really getting the best of both worlds. Um, you're getting the travel director who's there to, to you know, guide you from start to finish and then just getting shown the, the hidden, hidden gems and all the fun stuff about a town from a local specialist. 
And I, I love to say too, that sometimes the best connections are those that you can taste. Um, food and cuisine is a great way to get to, to know a region. I love trying the, the different foods when I travel. And of course, Britain has no sharp shortage of uh, hearty meals to offer. I love this picture because it's the iconic and classic fish and chips that really can be found in uh, any pub that you go to in, in England or you know just even in any restaurant. And of course they've got their uh, classic side of mushy peas. That's not really my favorite, um, but they do have great meat pies that you can try. Um, there's some bubble and squeak that you might wanna try when you're in England, that's beef and cabbage fried together. And then of course, another classic uh, dessert to kind of top everything off with is the sticky toffee pudding. Um, you know, there's endless options to try. I've just covered a few. So let's just kind of talk through another one of our quintessential city explorers. And this would actually be a combination of London and Paris. So if you wanted to visit both those cities, I love this trip. It's nine days, eight nights. So you spend four nights in London and uh, four nights in Paris. Um, you know, you're going to get a lot of history with this trip. I love this because of course you're, you're going to stop in Stonehenge. You're also going to um, spend uh, time in Bath, which uh, was really developed by the, the ancient Romans where they would go for their spa treatments. And then you'll have a, a day trip to Windsor. You're going to take uh, a ferry across the Eng English Channel. You're going to spend some time in Dover which in itself is pretty interesting. The Cliffs of Dover, there's a lot of World War II history there. And then you are gonna uh, have plenty of free time in Paris. Um, you can, you know, you'll be seeing the Arc de Triomphe, um, Notre Dame, of course, is, you're just gonna be seeing that now because it uh, unfortunately a couple of years ago tragically started on fire. Um, you'll go down the Champs Liaison. My French is not very good, but every time that I go to, go to Paris, there's always, uh, there's tons of shopping on that street and Louis Vuitton is on that street and there's always a line because people want to get their Louis in France. Um, so there's so many sites to see. You can go to the Louvre and check out the Mona Lisa. Um, but on this particular trip, um, when you're in England, we're going to take you to Windsor Castle. It is probably the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. So when the Queen of England is there, you'll, we, you will see her flag flying the standard. This, of course, is the chapel where Prince Harry and Meghan were married. Um, and you know, you get to really ex spend the afternoon exploring this 900 plus year history. The town of Windsor is so quaint and it's, it's so fun. There's also a, a school there, Eaton School, which is where Prince and Harry went before they went off to university. And then of course, um, you know, when you take the, the ferry over to Paris, you're gonna have four nights in Paris. You're gonna have tons of time to wander the streets of Paris. Um, you're gonna have also, um, if you, uh, during this trip, we're gonna take you to the Palace of Versailles, which is outside of Paris a, a little bit, but it's an amazing um, castle. It is the, the home of for, uh, former King Louis XIV. And he of course was called the, the Sun King. He wanted to show off all of his wealth so you get to walk through the amazing um, Hall of Mirrors. There's these beautiful, impressive chandeliers in, in the Palace of Versailles. But what I think is most amazing is the sprawling gardens. When you walk out of Versailles, especially if it's a nice sunny day, the, the gardens are so immense and they're absolutely beautiful and you can truly get lost in them. And then at night, you know, you've got evenings uh, to do what you, you know, more choices that we're going to offer you. Um, one of the things you might want to do is uh, catch a cabaret such as Moulin Rouge, um, which I will say if you do that with, Traf with Trafalgar, which I did last fall, you get uh, like v VIP seating, so front row seats, which is great. Um, so Paris is just a, a beautiful city. The next explorer that I wanna talk about is just the Paris Explorer. So we've got a combination of Paris and London, or you could do just London or just Paris. Uh, this is an eight day, seven night trip. Um, again, it's a real in-depth exploration of Paris and its surrounding cities. And of course, we're gonna incorporate the, the highlights and um, also save a few hidden gems for you. Um, what's neat about this trip is you're going to have a local specialist who will bring you to the Louvre at the, during the evening. If you're familiar with the Louvre, it's incredibly busy. 
Um, it's, it, you know, if you go during the day, you've got all kinds of tour groups, you've got all kinds of school kids. So a great way to see the, the Louvre is in the evening when it's quieter. And, and that's what we do right uh, with the local specialist we'll do with you on this trip. It also includes um, a, a view to, or a visit to the second level on the Eiffel Tower. You're gonna have great views of Paris. And then later that afternoon, you'll have tea on the first level of the Eiffel Tower. Um, we'll take you to Mont in the 18th Eredissimo. And this is kind of a white dome basilica on the hill. It's an arty, art, artist town. It's got a great vibe. Also on this trip, um, we do something that's really cool. It's called Dive Into Culture. And uh, this is where you actually get to visit uh, the Fragonard Perfume Factory. There's a really cool connection between this factory and Fragonard and our company. Um, this is a privately held company, just as we are. And they were founded back in 1926 by a local family uh, using the name of a famous painter, Fragonard, from the same town. And what they did for Trafalgar is they created a perfume exclusively for us called La Bella Vie which means the good life, because of course, when you're taking a Trafalgar trip, um, you are experiencing the good life. And uh, you get a chance uh, on this Paris Explorer to get a behind the scenes visit to the factory in Paris. You're gonna learn you know, the secrets of uh, how they make their fragrances, the history of perfume making um, from its beginnings to present day. It's, it's really, a, it's, it's a unique experience. And I just remember when the first time I went to uh, Paris, it was actually before the internet and you could only get this perfume Fragonard um, in Paris. You couldn't order it online like you can now, but they still save some sense that you can only buy where you're, while you're in Paris. So it's a great place to, to buy gifts, if you will, if you enjoy that kind of thing. We also have another great dive into culture, which is um, a, Paris Cooking School. So this is where you get to connect uh, not only with um, people in their homes, but also with a chef in his kitchen. And he's gonna share the art of French cooking with you. And you not only get to watch them cook and learn some you know, tips and tricks, but you're also gonna be able to shop for the ingredients beforehand. So you're gonna be able to go to a, a French market. And then of course, when you're done, you get to feast on your creations. Um, Later on uh, in the, I believe it's the fifth evening, we also have a great Be My Guest experience at restaurant Chez Paul Anne. And this is a real classic uh, Paris restaurant, kind of of yesteryear, sort of taking you back to the 40s and 50s. So if you kind of imagine American steakhouse, if you will, um, you're gonna get to enjoy authentic French food. The owners are really fun. It's a friendly atmosphere. Um, it's, it's, just a, it's just a great evening for everybody. So when you take these trips, just remember that it's a real perfect mix of sightseeing and free time. And you know, you, you might think that sightseeing's easy, but really, if you kind of think about it, the iconic sites sometimes can be a huge hassle. You know, you've got lines you might have to wait in. There might be a pile of tourists, like I was talking about in the Louvre to wave through. So the delays of these icons could be the reason you end up with little free time later on. So when you're on a Trafalgar trip and you're a Trafalgar guest, you don't have to worry about this. And we include uh, the sites that are, we include all the, the iconic sites. We um, include the entrance fees. We organize these, the VIP entrances as well. So you don't have to wait in line. And this just really ensures that you're gonna have a great time to relax and just enjoy these sites at your own pace. So the last city explorer that I wanna talk about is uh, Amsterdam. Uh, city Explorer, and I love this one. I don't know if, if you happen to live in the city of Minneapolis, it's a nonstop, nonstop flight to Amsterdam. This is a five night, six day trip, and um, you really get to explore the Dutch capital and its surrounding cities. Um, you'll get a chance to see how they make uh, the sturdy clogs there. There's a, a great place on the street where you can stick your, your peat feet, excuse me, in these oversized clogs and get a great picture. Um, of course, there's the home of Anne Frank. We also take you to the home of Carrie Ten Boom uh, and learn how her family helped us, the Jews escape um, the Nazis during that time frame. We're going to also do a Be My Guest dinner with the Pa family. This is up in a, a fishing village. There's just so much to see. As you can tell, we're going to take you down to Delft. 
That's that hand painted blue white pottery that the Netherlands are known for. You're gonna go down to The Hague, which is actually the royal capital and it's the administrative capital of the Netherlands. So it's actually quite, quite beautiful and interesting as well. Um, some of the highlights on this trip are spending a day at the Rijksmuseum. This is the home, um, of course, to the masterpieces of Halls and Vermeer, and of course, Rembrandt and his famous picture, uh, The Night Watch. The first time I saw The Night Watch, uh, I'll never forget how large it is. It was the, it's huge. It's the, the size of an entire wall. Rembrandt actually created it back in 1684, and it was really quite revolutionary at its time because he wasn't doing portraits of people in still life kind of like an airbrush thing. He was actually doing them in real life. So it's an amazing painting to look at. We're gonna take you to the town of Gouda. They still have their medieval traditions there where they weigh cheese using their medieval uh, cheese weighing stations. And you're gonna to get to spend time in the beautiful market square that you see there. And then of course, if you are on our Amsterdam Explorer during the time from March to May, uh, during tulip season, you can experience the Kuchenhof. Um, the Kuchenhof is this amazing flower show. Um, it only ha happens um, in, in Netherlands during this time frame, and you'll get tickets included to that. And I guarantee you are going to see tulips of every color. This picture here does not do it justice at all. So um, today, in today's world, we kind of talk about doing things in your own bubble. And what's pretty exciting about Trafalgar is you can actually travel in your own bubble. So if you want to travel with your family or just maybe your family and friends, you can choose any one of these tours that I'm talking about or any of our tours um, on uh, any one of our tours that we do over 300 itineraries and, and take a Trafalgar trip. Um, this is going to be traveling in, you know, true Trafalgar style. You're going to have a dedicated on uh, road team. You'll have your travel director. You'll have your driver. Of course, they're going to be trained in the, the physical distancing and hygiene protocols. You're still going to have those local specialists come in. And this is just available to you and your group for a small, small supplemental price um, over the original tour price. So there's so much more to discover um, behind, besides the icons, you know, finding the sites and the experiences really don't have to take an an eternity and unnecessary effort. Um, your dream trip can be, you know, as, as quick a way as just saying Trafalgar and, and contacting your travel leader's travel agent. So, you know, we'll help you get this all organized for you. And just remember that we've got product on all seven continents with over 300 trips to choose from. So, you know, if you're thinking maybe you want to go to Costa Rica, we've got a great trip, Monkeys, Jungles, Volcanoes, that's great for the family. We've got great product right here in the U.S. Um, you know, if you want to go see the, the, the state of Alaska, we've got a great itinerary called Majestic Alaska. We'll take you to Denali National Park. You will get to go to Fairbanks. Really a great trip that takes you into the interior. We've got great trips in Africa and Asia. So if you don't believe anything I say today, I, I love to say check out our reviews. Our overall guest satisfaction rating is 4.7 out of 5. And we're very proud of that. We've partnered with a company called uh, FIFO and they are a gold star rating company and they actually use the real reviews. So when you take a Trafalgar trip, uh, you come home and of course you're asked to rate the trip and um, you know whether or not something is posted is definitely up to you. You have control over that, but people will post um, what they think of our trip and FIFO monitors all that, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we're very proud to say, like I said, a 4.7 out of five, uh, five stars. So Trafalgar is definitely a brand you can trust. And making a, you know, a, a trip to London, Paris, or Amsterdam is definitely within your reach. We've got some great deals going on right now. If you book and pay in full uh, by March 4th, you can save up to 12 and 12.5% off. Remember, we also have our flexible cancellation policy, so you can make changes when changes within 30 days of booking um, and within 30 days of departure. And also just for joining today's uh, uh, afternoon uh, virtual show, you can save $200 off per couple if you book within uh, seven days. So I want to thank you for your time today. And with that, I will let Nora open it up for some questions. 
Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Krishna. Great job. You're welcome. Um, I, I do not see any questions yet, but for those of you on, on the call live, if you'd like to ask any questions, go ahead and put them in the chat or the Q&A. Um, you'll also be getting a follow-up email from me um, with a copy of this recording. So you can share it with friends and family. And if you have any questions, you can respond to that email and I will get back to you. I'm just looking to see a, on questions, which I don't see any yet. I think you answered almost every question I would have had. Um, I love I love the trips where you're spending, you know, four to six to seven nights in one location and doing the, the other trips, I, I love that. I think that is um, a great way to have a more relaxed trip. Um, Donna is asking, are museums open and safe to travel? Uh, when, they, when they do open up, um, we will make sure that they're safe to travel. So Trafalgar will follow any protocols. Um, once we do, you know, whatever is posted for the late, the local and state governments. Right, Donna. So right now, most of the museums uh, in Europe are not open. Um, and that's why we don't have a lot of trips there right now. Um, we're really hoping for what? Do you think by this fall or even this summer, we'll see that open up? Crossing my fingers. <laughs> I wish I could <laughs> say, I, I wish I could give everybody a date, but you know, like, like everything else, um, it's just, it's very fluid right now. So Agreed. It's definitely a wait and see. Agreed. Um, I know that um, all of your products are open for 2022. And Correct. You know, there's a lot of pent up demand for, for travel right now. So people are already booking for 22 and 23 in some cases. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in, you can reach out to your, your advisor. But great question. All right, well, Krista, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. And to all of you who have joined us today, again, thank you for your time. Uh, have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye, thank you. Bye. Bye.